Excellent. Thank you, Amber. Phone again? Seriously? You can't take my phone away anymore. I'm graduated. And yet you still come to this school. Gotta make money one way or another. Being my TA is not the best way to earn money. You need a real job. <laughs> real jobs are boring. I mean, what's better? Working for a manager who probably still lives with his mom, or working for the best teacher I ever had. The mama's boy manager might have better benefits. Oh my god, I've only been out of high school for like, what, four years? Cut me some slack. I mean, I'm in no rush to grow up. Obviously. Okay, what do you want me to do? Grade some papers or something? You don't need to grade the papers. I just need you to keep my mind occupied on something other than these papers before I blow my brains out. Am I occupied? How do I do that? Just talk. Talk? Yes. Talk about what? Anything. The past, the present, the future. I really don't care. Ugh. I swear, some of these kids really are gifted with the talent of pushing me to the point of insanity. Mr. Mendez, you just need to have patience. I mean, that's what me and Jessica would talk about after school. Like, all the time we'd be like, Oh, Mr. Mendes is so smart, but he sure does have a temper. How dare you. It's not my fault some of you kids are estupido. Oh my god, it's not that we're stupid. It's just that we don't like learning from a dictator, that's all. A dictator? Is that really how you guys see me as? Oh, please. There are way worse teachers at this school, believe me. Mm. Like... Did you ever have Mr. Hughes? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Like my sophomore year. Like six years ago. Oh, so he wasn't sick when you had him. He's been sick? One out of four years. Diagnosed with esophageal cancer. That's why he retired. Jesus. Yeah, poor guy. All that smoking did no good for him, I guess. He smoked? Oh, yeah. Every day after school was over, I'd head to my car in the parking lot, the staff parking lot. He'd be out there smoking. Man was like a chimney. Well, anyway. He passed away. What, like, recently? I was told this morning by some of the faculty. Guess he died a couple days ago. Oh. Yeah. Shameful, huh? Well, anyway, I just thought I'd ask if you had him before. Yeah. Yeah, I did. But, you see, I know he wasn't liked by a lot of his students, but there were some who did. Some who didn't mind his annoying teaching methods. What about you? Me? What about me? Did you like him? Well, he was here way before I got here. Uh, gave me some pointers on my first day on the job. He told me, Dave, if you want them to see you, you need to make sure you're worth being seen. You can't be mad at them, because if you do, evidently, it's your fault. Never forgot that. Hey, maybe that's why I built up this whole dictator teaching method, huh? He told me that, and since then I've always made sure to be a hard ass. Okay, yeah, but that doesn't really answer my question. Did you like him? Well, I guess I respected him. Why? What about you? Do you like him? Um... It's okay, you can say you didn't. Again, a lot of students didn't like him. You're not in the minority on that one. No. No, I, I didn't like him at all. I hear tension in your tone of voice. Hey, you really didn't like him, huh? Yeah. Well, 
well, what did he do to have such disdain from you toward his name? Did he fail you? Yell at you? No. What's the matter? Nothing. I just, um, I don't think he was a good guy. Well, who is, am I right? No, like, really not a good guy. Amber. Amber, what's wrong? Nothing. It's just, um... It's just he, um... He just, like... Like, touched... Like, I don't know. What? Yeah. What? What? What do you mean by that? It was just one day after school. I was waiting for my mom to come and pick me up. And I think she was stuck at work or something. And um, I was just waiting for a while and it was raining. And I saw that um, Mr. Hughes' classroom was still open. And... Um, I asked him if I could go in, and he said, sure. And I don't know why, um, but he, like, walked up to my desk, and he just started, like, I don't know, he just, he just, like, started, um, I'm sorry, I don't know if I'm being too loud. What? No, no, no. Look, Amber. This is a serious situation. The fact is, uh, I may not be the one you should be speaking to about this. No, thing. I know, I know that. It's just like, I just feel safe here, I guess. Yes, and I'm glad, but... Did you speak to authorities of some kind? I talked to my mom about it. The day it happened? A couple days after. And? She asked if I had sex with him. I said no, and she just told me to get over it. Oh, Amber. You know, it's really funny. Like my hand to God, like, I'll never forget that day, ever. But it's never really, like, traumatized me until you just said his name just now. I'm so sorry. There's no need to be sorry. I mean... I know him, like really know him. He had a lot of people fooled at this school, like no offense, but I saw him. You did? Yeah, I saw him. Yes. I'm sorry if we're like being too loud. Amber, you're fine. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I didn't like Mr. Hughes. At all. You, um, you're a strong person for speaking out about this. Speaking out? To you? Yes, you're finally comprehending the trauma you went through and coming to terms with it as a serious traumatic moment in your life. It's a big step. Okay, yeah, but it doesn't feel like it. I mean, sure, I'm telling you, but after this, it's not going to be anything. You're not going to contact the authorities? So what? They can arrest a dead man? <laughs> yeah, no. I, I'd rather keep it all in. I mean, that memory won't do anyone any good, so. Yeah, but... But you can let people know the truth. This man has been borderline revolutionized in this school. Someone has been looked at with respect. Like how you looked at him? Not anymore. Thank you for being on my side of things, but there's there's nothing that we can do. I mean, there's no point anymore, so. So sorry, Amber. It's fine. It's in the past, right? It doesn't have to be. 
it will be.